Lee Anderson, talking of consistency, and Chris Patton, Lord Patton, uh, talking about uh, 10 million smackers, have both added their weight to the cause from the Conservative Party to return the money given by Frank Hester. It's not possible, I think, realistically, for a party to go into a general election being funded by somebody who is now acknowledged to have said something racist. Uh, the Prime Minister is still using the word allegedly, but he made, um, he made the leap from, uh, on Tuesday night, I think, calling it unacceptable language to, on Wednesday, Prime Minister's questions, referring to it as racist. It is racist. Um, and I, uh, I think it's also misogynistic. Uh, I think it's too, it, it, it goes too far for um, the First Minister's conclusion that it's also Islamophobic. I don't think it is. I think it's unguarded, stupid, thoughtless language. And if somebody is going to be a senior donor to a political party, they need to mind what they say. They need to be careful about what they say because um, that party is, is, um, is touched by their influence in a big way. And I think, I, I, I think there is an element of, uh, a strong element of prejudice and a strong element of nastiness spreading not only through the Conservative Party but through Parliament. It needs to be rooted out. And this desire to see fault uh, is, is also a desire to see headlines. Um, the money should be returned and a better sense of responsibility needs to be established throughout the House of Commons. It's the House of Commons which is in need of reform, not so much the House of Lords. And uh, I'm sure that's the last thing Keir Starmer and his friends would want to acknowledge. That's a bigger, a bigger problem to deal with than simply abolishing the, the current form of the House of Lords and following uh, Gordon Brown's advice. <laughs>